Hi, my name is Eddie Sparks, Most Speech Marketing, and today is your man minute. And today we're coming to you from this point on uh, San Cristobal Island in Puerto Baquierzo Moreno City in the Galapagos Islands of Ecuador. And today we're at the Punto Punto. <coughs> Anyways, some Cerro Tirietas or something like that that you don't care about. Anyway, this is number three on Eddie's list. Number three on Eddie's list is sports team owner. Sports team owner. So I looked at my list of things to do every day, and number three was sports team owner. So if you don't know about money, the easiest way to get money is to talk to people who have more money. And uh, I have been uh, involved with the sale of sports team before as a sales guy and uh, I wanted to see if there was any sports teams for sale. So I was at that point in my life trying to contact as many sports team owners as possible and see how much money I can make. Because if I can get some contracts to say that I'm allowed to sell a sports team, I will go sell a sports team, I promise. But I think along with that, uh, underneath it was going to be some players and see if I could get some work as an advertising technician with players. Because players make a lot of money and they're getting hit up all the time, but I'm way smarter than them, most of them. Uh, I, I know that there were some Harvard graduates, but I, I assure you that if you've been in business for four or more years, you will always be smarter than almost every other person alive because you've been through it all. But it just depends what kind of business and how many people you have underneath you and eventually uh, figuring it out or uh, the whole strategy of uh, uh, figuring until you make it or uh, oops, I should have done that 10 years ago. Yeah, all those things come into play. So education is always key to running a good business. But as far as experience versus college, I think I take experience. But anyway, all right, so sports team owner. So, uh, Let's just classify this as uh, an action towards number two. So if your number two is like, I want to be, I want to be selling helicopters, right? I want to be a helicopter salesman. It's a good job. It's an elite job. I had, uh, I had changed my advertising technician to, to yacht salesman. I want to be a yacht salesman. I tried to call Benetti a few times and then I ended up calling Fraser and Fraser's changed hands and then blah, 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 blah. Anyway, doesn't matter. But the truth is that I put action to my plan. Well, I'm an advertising technician, was number one. But number two, I, I still am a good salesman, so I guess my I guess sports team owner was my Hail Mary. Let's call it that. Hail Mary. So my sports team owner is the one way that I know that I can make the most money in the shortest amount of time, which is sports team owner was one of the a uh, couple million dollars, but really it was bird dogging, bird dogging venture capital and, and loans because a lot of that is almost completely similar. Uh, negotiating a contract for 3% on the sale of a sports team and negotiating uh, a 3% uh, a, a contract on the sale of a skyscraper is exactly the same process. It requires the same type of money, same person. It's, it's just basically the way I know how to make the most money. And if you want to hire me to talk to you about it or coach you through it, or if you want to give me 66% off the sale of your first major loan, you call me. I, I'll, 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 I'll go to work with you and I'll make you do 100% of the work so you learn how to do it. If you do it once, you should be able to do it twice, three times a year. And you'll probably make somewhere between, uh, depending on, on what you're selling, somewhere between $90,000 and $200,000 a sale. Um, sports team would be somewhere in the million dollar range, two million. So I can always teach you to do that. Say, Sparks, why aren't you doing that? Well, we're, first of all, in the middle of Galapagos. Secondly, secondly, my oh, mind's not working. My mind's not working so well when I'm in travel mode. So uh, number three was sports team owner. That's, that's basically my Hail Mary pass. That's, that's the way I know how to make make the most amount of money in venture capital sales. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So that's what you should put as your number three. How do I make the most amount of money? And it's always going to be a sales thing, I think. But in your case, it might be an advertising thing because sometimes advertising more means more sales. So my name is Ace Sparks. Have a great day. Um, 
I'm just gonna take a couple minutes and let you see what's going on. Uh, that's my man man for today. Go sell something. This is your man minute.